we have, Trita. Okay, baby back ribs. What I've done is got a big bucket of water, bunged in some cider vinegar, put these in for about an hour, yeah. and that sort of acidulated water slightly tenderizes it, it whitens the meat, makes it much more. Can you see how soft? Oh, I can see it. Soft. Lovely. So you know, so it's ready now to go. Now, the first thing about these ribs is my rub. It's a dry rub. Uh -huh. Very, very exciting. You know, you have you know, you know, wet rub, dry rub. Yep, you go dry, I'm going to go wet. Brilliant, wet and dry. Okay, so all we have is salt, about a quarter of a cup. Come on, it's all like that. So the salt, we have the cracked pepper, we have the hot paprika, we have onion powder, we have garlic powder, we have cane pepper and we have muscovado sugar. So Great. the salt's been in, a quarter of a cup of that, same amount of the pepper, it okay. might seem like quite a lot. This is the hot paprika, you could use smoked, you know, mm -hmm. I mean you're using smoked in yours yeah. aren't you? So, but it, and again if you don't like heat, I reckon you can just, you know, tone this down, but let's get a bit of that in. I'll give it a second, but you know, we're not going to tone we're it down. We're not going to tone it down. This is nice. Actually, I've toned it down a little bit. Now, it's lovely onion powder. Teaspoon, bang. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder in. Nice one of those. Cane pepper for a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. Just in case we haven't got another pick. And just a little bit of that. Sugar. So you're mixing it in there. Now, all you do is you get this in the fun bit. You get your lovely ribs. And you just rub it in tenderly. You know, imagine you're sort of massaging and on the back as well. Obviously, the membrane has to be taken off these ribs before um, mm -hmm. sticking. Okay. Okay. So that's lovely. Totally dry, so no totally, oil, no, no nothing. Totally, no nothing. There's okay. enough fat in these ribs. Gotcha. So what I have here is these have been marinating for 24 hours in the fridge, mm. and all I'm going to do now is take them down to my lovely barbecue and let you get to work on your bit. All right. Well, you go off to the grill. I will see you when all they right, come back. And I'm going to get on with what my wet yeah. marinade. You want to come and help me? You sure? Yeah, you sure need some help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a little oh, bit of help. I, I knew it wouldn't be. Yeah. I need you by my side. It's always a double act. Okay. So let me go in. We've, we've, you've seen the dry mix. Yep. Now we're going to take you to the wet mix. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this, I've got some cinnamon. We've got some um, dry chili flakes, a bit of cumin, some smoked paprika, um, my Cajun seasoning, and some mixed herbs, okay? Now to that, we're gonna add just a little bit of salt, and we're gonna just add some oil. Now I notice both you and Tom include sugar in your... Yes, and, well that's to help make it stick, you see. Um. And then we're going to add some soy sauce, if you can get me some okay. sugar, please. Some just sugar, just there. there we go. There. Do you want me to... Yeah, uh, can you just spoon some in for me? I will. How much? One, two... Give me another one. Three. One more. One for luck. One for luck, okay. A little bit more? No, 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 because we're going to add a little bit more oil. If you could okay. pour some oil. Okay, a little more oil for you, yes. A little bit more oil. There we go. Okay, now, mm -hmm. pretty much like that. It looks like a paste, okay? Yeah. Now, all you need to do is I need you to marinate those. Okay. And they're going to marinate overnight, and here's some we did earlier. And then you just take your ribs, they're like this, put them on a hot griddle pan, just so that you can seal them off, because what you want to do is seal that juice yeah, yeah. inside, okay? Mm -hmm. And then once they, let's just turn it. That sizzling sound. That's it. And then from there, yep. we're going to just take it off onto the pan and straight into the oven.